I'm Wendy Mould and I'm here today to show you how a treasure hunt can help you build your drawing skills. Yes, it doesn't seem possible, but really it is. So first of all, let's get started with materials. I like to use a multimedia uh, sketchbook to do my work in. That way I can do it with a dry medium or a wet medium, whichever I like. You're going to need a pencil and just a, a normal HB pencil is fine. Uh, then of course a kneaded eraser and I like to take my vinyl eraser and just cut it on a diagonal so that I have a nice sharp point here in order to do some erasing with. So I've got my two erasers, my pencil, and I'm going to also use my um, pen and I have here a Copic multi-liner pen and it's a 0 .07 and just because I want to do mine in ink. You don't have to do yours in ink and what we'll do after we draw the, our um, do some drawing we can decide later what we want to do for color or even if we want color or not. That's always a question for me. So one of the things you're going to do for the treasure hunt is go for a walk. Now maybe you can walk around your house, you can walk around your street, you can walk around your yard, but go for a walk somewhere. I know we can't go with people, but we can still go in some other little places and take some pictures. What I challenge you to do is take five pictures of some subject. Now the pictures that you can see here are pictures of pumpkins. And that's one of the things that I did for my treasure hunt. So I went and found the, took those pictures of the pumpkins and then I drew some pictures from them. And it was kind of fun. Here's some of the things I made from that, those pictures. Kind of neat, eh? Okay, so now what I did today now, I guess in a way you're going to say I was cheating because uh, we didn't have any snow yet. But I thought it would be kind of neat to draw pictures of different snowmen. So because we didn't have any snow, I went back into my own family pictures and found some snowman pictures. And so today I'm going to, that's going to be what I'm going to do. So you're going to take those five pictures that you had and you're going to place your subject, whatever it is, on the page. So I'm kind of mapping out one of my snowmen here and here and another one here. And I may not fit all five, but that's okay too. So let's see what happens when you start getting to draw. I was pretty excited to get started on my drawing. It's kind of fun to do these little snowmen, I, and I really started to enjoy it the more I got into it. I decided to use pen to do my drawings, and that's certainly not required. You can go ahead and use pencil. I just like to always be practicing with my pen work, so this is a good opportunity for me. The first thing to do, though, is whether you use pencil or pen, is first just do a loose framework that shows the placement of your big shapes. Then go back and add those little details. And I always try and pick up some of the little idiosyncrasies of each of my things so that their true character shows through. I think that really makes them more interesting and a lot more fun. I decided to use watercolor to finish off my sketches, but you're certainly welcome to use colored pencil or even just shade with a pencil. The important thing is to develop your drawings to the stage that you consider them finished. I find this little treasure hunt lots of fun and I find it very inspiring as well. Focusing on a theme seems to really spark my interest, and it certainly makes my walks more interesting as I'm always hunting for some new subject that I can feature in my drawings that day. And at the same time, when I get busy doing my drawings later, it really uh, is kind of fun to try and place them on the page. This time I only put three snowmen in, but next time I might put all five um, pictures from one of my uh, outings. It helps to have a selection to choose from just to make it a little more interesting and inspiring. Another thing I like to do is either zoom in or zoom out and playing with the images a little bit. This really helps me experiment with composition and I find this another great um, part of this kind of activity 
not only are you practicing your drawing, but you're also getting into composition and, and playing with different things. Working in a sketchbook really gives you, or gives me anyway, that sense of safety. I don't have to worry. I can just go ahead and do it. It doesn't matter if it doesn't turn out perfectly. And usually I find it it's always kind of interesting and it does inspire me to do some other things. I really am enjoying uh, working with these snowmen and as I did with the pumpkins I found I went and did quite a few different drawings with them. I find when I work with my treasure hunting subjects uh, I always begin to notice other key elements in my drawing. Particularly with the um, snowmen I, I noticed shadows. On a snowy day everything is bright. It's not easy to see the shadows. But my snowman couldn't be just white. I was forced to deal with this and really concentrate on where the shadows were and how dark they were. I also played with my shadow color. Here I used uh, purples, uh, both a bluey purple, as I'm doing on this little snowman here, and more reddy purple, as I did on the snowman in front of it. Again, I thought found that I had some preferences. I kind of liked the more reddy purple than the blue. I found the blue purple quite a cold um, color. But at the same time, now I want to try some other colors for my shadows. And add, maybe add a, try a different blue and maybe add some sunshine. These kind of things are uh, usually I call them the what if. What if I did this or what if I did that? And certainly these little snowmen will keep me busy for several days as I try some different things with them. Get your camera and take the treasure hunters challenge. Take five pictures of a subject, birds, houses, trees, leaves, people, whatever you see on your walk and start sketching. I guarantee you will get caught up with your own what if questions and you'll be busy drawing and drawing. Now to get you started, I have prepared a free download of my snowman pictures. Head over to my website, artbywendy.com, for the link to the download. And I wish you all good treasure hunting.